Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic of discussion is a very small hero, right? And we call it a hero because this animal, this insect, really affects everyone around the world, right? It, it changes your life, it changes my life, it changes everyone's lives. So how does this small little butterfly help us to get food, help us to live our life? Well, monarch butterflies may become extinct. Extinct, of course, means there's no more. So they will all die soon if we don't fix the problem. So the eastern monarch butterfly, which is this kind of butterfly here, there's many, many different kinds, but this kind of butterfly of North America may continue, keep going, to be at extreme risk. It's very, very, extremely, very, very super risk, danger of extinction, despite a recent surge in their population. So population is talking about how many butterflies there are, right? There was a surge. The number of butterflies recently, it went up like this. It went from 10, 20, 100,000 to millions of butterflies. It went up, right? Despite, however, they are still about to die. They're still about to go extinct. Even though there's many butterflies, despite that, they're still continuing to sort of be extinct. How is that possible? According to a Scripps Institution of Oceanography study, right, they're a group of people that study butterflies, the number of monarchs decreased. The number of them went down by 84% from 1996 to 2014. The steep decline. This is a uh, slow decline, but a steep decline is like this, straight down like this, right? A steep decline over an extended period of time, over a long time, means there is a substantial chance, a very, very high chance that monarchs will become quasi-extinct, almost extinct, right? 99% extinct within 20 years. So when we're talking about all this long time, and when we see a very steep decline, that means they will be 99% extinct in 20 years. Researchers wrote in the March issue of Scientific Reports. This means the species has so few numbers that it is impossible for the population to make a complete recovery. So that means there's so little that they can never make a full recovery. They can never come back to a healthy number, right? Recover means to be healthy again. Scientists count the population of monarchs by measuring, by seeing how many kilometers the land area the insects occupy while staying in central Mexico for the winter. So all of these butterflies go to Mexico and they measure how many kilometers that they are staying in, right? And they can kind of figure out, oh yeah, they are, there's about 20 million. They can count that. The recorded eastern monarch population reached an all-time low for in all of history it was the lowest in all of history in the winter of 2013 and 14 when the butterflies only covered 1.7 acres this is talking about the size of land it's a very very small size of land recent conservation conservation means they're trying to protect it so recently <clears throat> In 2015, 2016, they're trying to conserve, trying to protect. Efforts have led to dramatic increases. So after they tried to protect it, what happened after? It led to a dramatic increase. What increased is the number of butterflies. It increased, right? This past winter, the insects covered 10 acres. So before it was 1.7 acre, acres, and after they conserved it, it went to 10 acres, so it went up, 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 right? But it's not enough to offset, it's not enough to fix the general decline, right? So it declined this much, 
but it only increased this much. So we still have this much to recover, right? We cannot offset it, we cannot fix it. Factors <clears throat> such as the loss of breeding habitat where they make babies, uh, it's gone. And deforestation, meaning the forests are cut down, the trees are cut down, are seen as causes for the decline. So why are the numbers falling down? It's because they cannot, they have nowhere, they have no habitat to make babies, they have nowhere to live because trees are cutting down, according to the World Wildlife Fund. All right, we have three key terms here, or three key qu questions, sorry. A, what does it mean when a species is classified as quasi-extinct, right? Quasi-extinct means 99% extinct. It means the population loss of a species, of a kind of animal, is so severe, is so bad and serious that a complete blank of the population is impossible. So uh, there's maybe a few butterflies, so it's not 100% extinct, but it's quasi-extinct. There's a few but they will be extinct because these few can never make enough babies to fully recover, to fully be fixed again. So we're looking for a recovery. So that means we have this much from long time ago, but we have so little that we can never recover. We can never go back to this place. It's kind of a sad thing to think about that we can never recover again. We can never be healthy for these Butterflies. These butterflies can never recover to the number they had. B. How do scientists count the population of butterflies? Do they count every single butterfly? No. The scientists blank the land area occupied or lived by the butterflies while they stay in central Mexico for the winter. So they do not count every single butterfly. They count the land or they sort of see how many kilometers the land is where they're staying for the winter. So when they take a ruler and they want to see how big the land is, then we say measure. Measuring is when we try to put a number to the size, to the temperature or the speed. So when we measure our height, we say, oh, this is about 175 centimeters. When we measure speed, oh, it's about 20 kilometers per hour. Or when we measure how hot it is, it's about 20 degrees Celsius. We're trying to put a number to the size. C, what are some possible causes for the decline of Eastern monarch butterfly population? Why are they all dying? The blank of breeding habitat and deforestation are among the possible causes. So breeding is talking about making babies, making eggs, making new butterflies and caterpillars. Habitat is their house or where they live, the tree or maybe the bush, right? And these places, they are disappearing, right? They're not, there's not more of them, there's less of them. They're not, they're vanishing, right? So we say that is a loss of breeding habit, habitat. So when we lose money, we don't get more money. We lose money means we are getting minus money. So loss, we can think of it as a minus, all right? Or subtraction. All right, we have three key review terms here. A, this past winter in 2016, uh, the winter, like January, December, it, the insects covered 10 acres, this large area, but it's not enough to blank the general decline. So the general decline, for example, it's, we're lose, for example, we're losing 10 butterflies every hour. So every hour, 10 will die, right? Every hour, 10 will die, but uh, we are saving five, right? So even though 10 are dying, we are saving five, but we still have five that are dying, right? So that means we cannot totally fix, we cannot totally repair, we cannot totally offset what's the problem. 
So for example, if you sleep very, very late at night, one day, and you only get two hours of sleep. So you only sleep two hours and then you wake up, you go to school, you're very tired, right? But you can fix that. You can offset your tiredness by sleeping or taking a nap in the daytime. You sleep a little bit more in the day and then you're fixed again. You're not tired anymore. So we can offset or we can fix what we lo lost before. We lost five hours of sleep. Well, we can get it later again, right, to fix that. B, the recorded Eastern monarch population, blank, an all-time low in the winter of 2013-2014. So we're talking about low here, right? And when we want to go very far somewhere and we want to get something, we say that is reaching. So when we reach an all-time high, that means it went very high up. But when we reach an all-time low, that means it went very, very low, right? So reaching is it went, you know, to the very, very end of it, to the very, very far end of it. C, recent, recent conservation efforts have blank to dramatic increases. Dramatic increases means it went up like this. The number of um, butterflies, it went up, it increased, it went uh, a lot of them were born. However, this was because of recent conservation. Conservation means when people try to protect it. So, step one, they try to conserve. They want to protect, right? They say, don't cut this, we are protecting them. And what happened after that? Well, the number of butterflies increased. So, what, when we want to say what happened after is led to, right? So led is something what a leader does. A leader, right? We know what a leader is, right? A leader is like the captain. When the captain goes this way, then we follow him, right? So we can say uh, the leader is leading us, the leader led us, right? So when this happens, what followed after the protection? We're protecting them. What followed after? Well, the number of butterflies increased. That is what followed this protection, this conservation effort, right? So to review, offset, it means to fix a problem from before. If we lose five pencils, then we can offset that. We lost, we're minus, but we can plus five, we go to morning glory and we get more. We can offset that, right? Reach is talking about how far away we can go, right? How high can we go? How low can we go, right? And lead is something that follows something. It comes after something. So this increase, this monarch increase, it followed, it happened after, after they tried to conserve, after they tried to protect them. All right? So next time we see a butterfly, we should really think about how much they help us, how important they are to not only you and I, but to all animals and you know, all people around the world. So thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. See you next time.